Hey, welcome back, you're here. So we are going to do some building. This is, I mean, surprise, this is a Lego friend set. This is the, <clears throat> it's the Roller Disco Arcade. It is a neon colored wonderland. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted translucent, see-through-y bright colors, then this is the set for you. You can see this from 16 suburbs over. <laughs> it's fantastic. So there are 642 pieces in it. It is $90 here in Australia and $60 US. Google to find out how much it is close to you wherever you are in wherever you are in the world and uh, yeah so let's have a look we got oh look at all these, <laughs> these bright bright colors it is an 80s flashback just waiting to happen so let's have a look there are three mini dolls included the first of whom I'm getting them all out of their bags but Jackson comes in the first bag we've seen Jackson before wearing exactly the same outfit in the friendship treehouse and Jackson is wheelchair bound so we will make his wheelchair in a moment but this set also has Andrea in an outfit we've seen before with a bit of a misprint happening in the middle there and she has got a hairpiece that is new for Andrea and new for this year Nandy had it in the street food market set with a yellow scarf now it comes with a turquoise scarf and it looks gorgeous Andrea is rocking it and third mini doll is Evelyn who was introduced in the Main Street building set and she's related to Ethan in some way shape or form. She's wearing the same outfit she was in that set but her face, oh these eyebrows are like slipped. There's like this little tiny bit of printing happening. But anyway she's got a, a, a lightning strike neon lightning strike on the side. She is roller derby ready. This is basically yeah I love her new face print that is fantastic. So three mini dolls. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. That's surprising for me. Normally I don't get excited <laughs> at all. Right so let's make the wheelchair for Jackson. I just love the fact that he's got just such bright colors for this wheelchair. So lime green wheels has got the hot pink well you know the coral vibrant coral down the bottom fantastic so we are ready to build so slanty piece with some we made an orange ramp that's pretty oh red ball we've never I've got a few of these balls from it's it's hollow it's really really light I've never seen one of these in a Lego friends set before but I've had them from the books that you know you can make creations and machines Lego machines and stuff out of so that's supposed to be the bowling ball and we have got six <laughs> Six pin bowling is what we're doing here. <laughs> it's the budget version. <laughs> Could we not have had four more pins? Actually, probably just be more pins to lose. So we got six pin bowling. Lovely. Very first. Oh, hold on. Why are we... Okay. I find it weird that the first thing we're building here after the bowling ball and the pins is a garbage bin. Oh, okay. So this is a tie-in to the recycling truck because this coral coral garbage bin was the glass recycling truck and we've got a palm tree here so this is all in the same kind of environment as the recycling truck as well with a palm tree that's an interesting little side build <laughs> it kind of has nothing to do with this set but it'll look really cute just lined up next to it speaking of lined up all of our our six pins here are lined up at the back of what i assume is going to be the alley the rolling the rolling pin the bowling alley <laughs> rolling pin alley oh my gosh my brain's just in the dumpster today where does this go if we've got a gap on here oh that's so that's for the hinge right okay so I haven't missed a piece out there so our rolling pin alley which is what I'm calling it from now on is the budget version <laughs> this is all the budget version it looks cool so these are all tiled like you know the wood lined up beautifully got the gutters happening on the side and then up here so just abbreviated a bit to have a spot I think where the bowling ball returns gonna be and this is your score chart and I, I failed to show you the stickers at the beginning but the stickers are all the psychedelic really you know shiny glittery things uh, so we can pop these let's set these up gosh they just stick into my fingers it's like a pokey little spot to try and line them up but obviously you can't put them on studs otherwise you can't knock them over so let's have a go I did not do very well there. <laughs> Lucky I didn't have 10 to knock over. Would have done terribly. There we go. Almost a full house to strike. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know any bowling terms. <laughs> but I do know sandwiches. And this one is delicious. It's going on the side table here. <laughs> I mean, snacks are important. Much more important to know your snacks than bowling references. <laughs> right. So on the top of the archy bit of the bowling alleyway is a really long tile with a bowl sticker on it very nice oh it's so 80s I'm just loving how 80s it is we don't have anything strange left over at the end of that bag so that's good 
and, and we're up to bag number two, which is the bag that Evelyn came in. We can have another little look at her face print here. And she comes with a mobile phone. So that's just to call everybody, make them get the butts it. <laughs> roller derby night. What? Disco night on the roller skating rink. My goodness, it's like flashbacks to my youth. Now I feel really old. Right, so we are putting another one of these nice long stickers on these nice long tiles. Oh, this is gonna be like a dance dance revolution, like a dance game. This is the arcade part on this side. So we've already built the bowling alley part. I'm just so curious to see what else we're gonna be fitting in here. It looks like we're gonna be able to fit in Oh, so much stuff. This is really cool. And I'm just loving the colors. They are insane. So we're lining the purple with turquoise. And then we have got a pillar of blue single, single bricks because we don't have a pillar of those. So we've made them. That trans green, oh, hold on. Is that what it's called? Yeah, trans neon green glass is new in this color. So it's going into the blue window frame or the door frame. And it looks absolutely psychedelic. Fantastic, a curved neon green glass piece to get around that corner. And this is making my eyes happy. And curves on the outside. I just love all the shaping that's going on with these new friend sets. They're looking amazing. So this is, yeah, these go up here. And then we've just got to do a bit more. I need to concentrate, make sure all these bits on the top are going on in the correct spot. So we're getting a line of purple along the top here. And these a yellow clip facing inwards so we'll find out what that's gonna be holding soon more yellow clips here and this whole purple panel -y bit is going up there nice look at that we've just built a whole section and another stripe of turquoise along here <laughs> all right and this is I was gonna say it was speakers but it is, I mean, those those bright yellow neon things are speakers, but they're attached to the game, to your Dance Dance Revolution game. Cool, okay, oh, who got the okay? I'm sure they feel okay about that. And that goes over there, and then we can pop, let's pop Evelyn on here to try to, this is where the lack of articulation in mini dolls becomes a bit sad when we have stuff like this. So when we have ballet sets, you can't move them around very much. So she's just gonna hold on to this, yeah, this framework, that's good. Okay, and this connects on to here, and that hinges like that. Okay, that looks pretty honky at the moment, but it's all going to come clear as we go along, I think. Big windows again on this side, the connecting side. So the bowling alley is going to be in the middle, I think, of the whole thing. Oh, look at that trans green. No, not trans green, like that neon green tile. I just... It makes me sad that I can't, I don't think that's in the right spot. That needs to go like that. It makes me sad that my camera does not pick up the vibrancy, the sheer, like eye-breaking poppiness of that trans, not trans, neon green color. You'll have to see it for yourself. So we've got our arcade sign up the top here, a couple of nice see-through bars going on and it's just so bright. Right, what we have left there is nothing strange, which is good, which means we can move on to bag number three, which is the bag that Andrea came in and she comes with some red roller skates and there's actually a spare red roller skate here too which we could, I wonder, I mean, does Evelyn get roller skates? I hope so. So if she's getting roller skates, or she also has a handbag, I mean, she could, oh, maybe it's like, it, it could be the, like the bowling ball bag. Oh, that's awesome. So she's come equipped ready for everything, for bowling, for roller skating. Good on you, Andrea. I like a girl who <laughs> just comes ready to do all the things. Now, this is going to be a, like a separate section. And my assumption is, also because I've seen the picture on the front of the box, is that because we got Andrea with the roller skates in this bag, this is going to be the roller skating rink. So we've got some tiny bits set up over on that side there. I mean, it's going to be the tiniest little roller skating rink. But So these bits turn, and then these cogs interlock with them, and then you can put her on there and we can I mean Jackson's got to be able to have a go so I reckon yeah we can get his wheelchair on there too some neon lights going along the front here <laughs> it's so bright I love it and these go oh okay so we're actually enclosing all these cog pieces we're gonna be making a smooth floor are we gonna have any places for them to actually attach on Ooh, the neon Oh, the neon yellow. Is it neon yellow or neon green? I can't remember. Uh, the, 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 those tiles, though, are actually the edge. That's cool. The edge of the roller skating rink. So we only actually have two circles that go in the same direction now for the roller skating rink, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. We've got to 
couple of chairs or little stools with some really, really hmm, not so stickers happening on them. Uh, they can be popped off and put wherever you want them to go. But at the moment, they are sitting very nicely next to the roller skating ring. So you can sit on them to put your roller skates on. Got a ramp going up and down for that yellow bit there. And then we touch this onto the hinge and look at how it all, yes, yeah, so we can go directly down onto the bowling alley there from the roller skating rink. It all interlocks really well. Well, the design of this is fantastic. We're up to bag number four, and this is reminiscent now for me of the movie theater, which was also openable like this, but this is so much better because it's actually going to enclose into a complete building rather than having a weird, ganky looking open back. Right, so... No, 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 no shade on the movie theater, but still, <laughs> this is better. So we've got three lockers with the corresponding stickers on them numbered. Oh, I just don't, I don't know. I seem to be getting worse at putting stickers on. How is that possible? I've had so much practice. You would think I would get better, but no. Nope. So this one's not as straight as I'd like it to be. Let's get that on there. I need to fix up the number three one because it's just too close to the handle. I mean, it's not going to matter when I'm looking at it from further away. I don't even know what that's even, no, you know, whatever. I'm leaving it alone now. And we have got two blue skates, roller skates, which are supposed to go in here, but I am going to get them out and I'm going to put them on Evelyn because I mean, she's totally ready. Let's put her over and away and she can get out there on the roller skating rink and we'll put the uh, handbag or the bowling bag, get in there, in the top one. Knocked <laughs> over Jackson, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, if you dudes will insist upon hanging out on a construction site while I am building, there are bound to be some casualties. It's not like I put them on there. Now, these go, okay, we've got some more of these fantastic trans colors going, <laughs> going lined up here. I just love the fact that we've got the, I mean, you can turn the, Tony floor thing from the outside, but you can see really clearly through those windows too, from the outside. Like it looks at the moment as though they're really peering outside. This is going to go up on, yeah, we did this on the other side in the arcade section with that, mm, that neon green tile. And this, yeah, we did this too, except this time we've got, got no clips on it. Okay. And yeah, this goes around here, touches, oh, what's that? We've got a little technique bit a little overhanging out croppy head bumpery thing happening over the top of the roller skating rink. Got our line of turquoise and this is ooh, a disco ball, which is going here, which is really pretty, but they're going to just, it's going to knock them <laughs> absolutely flat over when, in mid roller skate. Because when we turn that, it's going to knock them out. Anyway, it's cute. The disco ball is cute, but <laughs> really, really not hmm, not situated well. Okay, but it looks cool. And that's all that matters in life. <laughs> so getting our matching, matching architecture happening on this side to the other side. But this one's got the front door. Speaking of the front door, we have got the dark turquoise door fillery things, like the door bits, the frame we've seen before in dark turquoise, but not the actual door pieces. Some very nice posters. 80s see advertising 80s roller skating night <laughs> in the arcade section and then I mean this is just packed filled with color and details this is the karaoke kind of thing or disco it's like just a disco -y sign big speakers up there are they gonna be in the way when they turn around I don't think so that disco ball's just given me the gyps though it's so unsafe but we do have you can do karaoke too, like roller skating karaoke. <laughs> You've got a microphone there, perfect. Got a spare blue skate and a spare red skate. So, I mean, if you if you like mismatchy skates, we're going to put them down in number three there. I like mismatchy skates. I think that's cute. We're up to bag number five. Now, I think we... No, there's still room for places... No, there's still place for stuff on the inside. But at the moment, we are filling out all of this rounded over neon retro architecture Ooh, pink up here on the top it's so fabulous i just love this i think i need multiple of these but i don't feel the need to actually expand on this set like normally i build a friend set and i go i think this needs more but this one's just like perfectly contained and it just looks there's so much in it and we still haven't even finished inside it Oh, it's so good. All right. So the sign above the front door has got a bowling ball and it's also got some more buildable signs, which we're doing now. So this is a buildable roller skate. That's so cute. So it just needs some pink wheels because of course, 
and this bit's going to allow us to stick it into those holy studs up the top. This is a nice big bowling pin with an egg for the topper. I love that. And third thing is a... Like this is to depict for the arcade. So this is like a controller, like a game controller thing, which isn't really what you do in the arcade, but it's cool. So that looks, I mean, it's great. The depiction's fantastic. So these go up here above the door. We poke this one in over here at an angle. That one goes up there with its bowling ball and yeah, Look at that, that looks fantastic. And these yellow tubing pieces create, like they create the line, like the curved line around, around the edge. That looks amazing. This one goes on this side to match the other side. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that look incredible? I don't think I could love this set anymore. <laughs> Okay, all right, stop giggling. That's enough. There's still more, bit, there's still more building to do in here. I haven't stopped giggling. So this is a drinks machine. Very nice. We got just one little drink in there. That's cute. And it just pops in here next to the front door. And you can pop that off its little jumper stud if you want to. Pop it wherever you want. I said pop too many times because I'm really, really excited. And this is one of those arcade games that they talked about. It looks like a pixelated version of Heart Lake Rush. <laughs> That's awesome. That's such a really great little... Easter egg. So arcade game all oh, goes over here in the in the gaming section. Oh, I'd love a second arcade game, but I don't think there's room for one. So let's find out what this is. I, yeah, I want another arcade game. I think that would be the only thing that I would add here so far because this is not an arcade game. This is something, I mean, just as good. <laughs> Every bowling alley that I've gone to has got one of these, an air hockey table. Is it just a tradition to have an air hockey table at bowling alleys? So this, oh, okay. So the puck is actually stored here on the side and these are the, whatever you call those things that you hit it with. So you hold them and then you can store them back on the side. That's just really tidy and cute, but you do kind of need a brick separator to get them off the side where they're stored. And they go on the jumper studs over there. There is just enough room to pop people in to play it while it's in situ, but you can also take it out as well. Look at that. This is it in its entirety. I'm not sure what those pieces are for, those hingy pieces. I love, I love, love, love this. Look at how it all fits in together. Now I have to figure out what these hinges are for. Oh. Four. So I've turned these pink bits or the pink cheese slices around the wrong way. It's because you can actually put your big screen up the top while you're bowling. So you put your favorite show on, <laughs> on your iPhone, and you can pop it up the top. That's once again like the movie theater, but oh my gosh, so much better. I really, really like this. Oh my giddy aunt, this has just it's been a psychedelic 80s flashback and I love it. Just want another arcade machine. <gasps> Maybe not another. Oh no, it needs a claw machine. So I, yeah, just a claw machine and then this would be chef's kiss would be perfect. Okay, let me know in the comments what you think of this set. I'm going to go and have a little bit of a lie down, take a breath because I don't think I breathe through this whole thing because it's so good. I mean, just look at it. And yeah, check back in because more videos are coming up after I've had a cup of tea and a lie down. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.